All right, so before we take our break, a couple more things, just looking at the anatomy of a YouTube channel. Uh, my last thought was about comments. Um, I highly recommend that you activate the feature to moderate your comments. This is not on by default, meaning anyone can write anything about your video. You probably can delete the comment after they've uploaded it. But by the time you realize that, it's already something negative, and who wants that? So there is the ability to activate uh, moderation. That is, no comments, good or bad, will be shown on, the, on your video until you approve it. And I think that's something that you would want to keep it on track. So moderation, uh, remove bad comments before they show up. And since it's your channel about your content, you can set it up however you want. If you really only want the glowing, uh, wonderful comments, great. Let them through. Your company's amazing. But uh, if you want to use it to remove the off-topic stuff, the spam and all of that, you can do it that way as well. Let's see. I might have an example... I think a better example is on a different video. Well, let me show it in this way. Um, I mentioned it previously that when a video of yours plays, the default is that uh, it will then auto-play more videos. So this is going to go over to a different YouTube channel, Microsoft Student Accelerator, someone else's video. The more videos you create, the more videos on a topic, the more of your videos will then play next, keeping people watching your videos, keeping them paying attention to you. So create videos on a topic. Uh, to keep people uh, watching more via autoplay. That can be turned off, and I know for myself, I turn it off right away. I don't like it to go to another video because no matter how smart the algorithm is, it might not really go to the video that I really wanted to watch. But a lot of people won't know that, won't pay attention, a new video shows up, why not try to make it in your favor by adding more videos? One way to really control that, to really control the flow of videos in autoplay, create playlists. So I can make a group of, one, of two or 20 videos that will play in a specific sequence, so that when someone finishes playing this one video, it automatically goes to your next video. Autoplay then really works well because more of your videos appear. So last week when I talked about different types of videos, uh, hopefully you thought about those, uh, but here's a couple of other ideas. Um, interview videos and how-tos and tutorials and such. I'm Victor's Bakery, and let's say I'm showcasing uh, the various pastries that we sell. So. These are like mini commercials. We're going to sell this uh, apple strudel and this um, uh, pecan pie, and we're going to show pictures about it and talk about it and get people hungry, and then our phone number is going to be on the video, and our phone number and web address are going to be in the description. So all of that is a nice-looking video, yes, but it's in the purpose of getting people to buy that product, so showcasing your own products, a great use for YouTube. So if I do that a lot for a variety of our baked goods and put them in a playlist, all of the chocolate themed videos are in this playlist. And then all of the you know, sugar-free ones are in this playlist, which is probably empty. And uh, all of these different videos in different playlists. And you can organize one video into multiple playlists. So a better example is over at uh, and some of these other channels. Uh, we don't. Have, we've only got one playlist of code. This one. 
looks more like this, where one video will play, well, after the ad, and then these next videos will automatically play. Once these are done, then it'll go off to someone else's video. But first, all of these will play. You just show us how to do that? Yes. <laughs> so this is much more useful, uh, very powerful. Guide people how you want them to watch your videos. Because there'll be plenty of other videos that will appear on the side from plenty of other users on YouTube. As I said, there's lots and lots and lots of people using YouTube, lots of creators on YouTube. And it's even going to go off to other things like DIY, how to apply liquid glass epoxy resin on almost any surface. Well, what does that have to do with any of this technology stuff? Mm -hmm. This is also going to be populated depending on um, your own viewing uh, history. Uh, I'm not logged in. It doesn't recognize me as, as Victor. It just sees me as someone browsing YouTube. And it saw that I've seen a couple of, it realized that I've seen a couple of tech videos. So it says, you might be interested in more of these tech videos. So the algorithm is trying to figure out what more to show me based on what I've already seen. But it's not perfect because then it shows here a $50 farmhouse table. Do it yourself. Um, and then over there also, how to determine if a wall is bearing or non-bearing. It has nothing to do with technology, but it might think someone that is interested in tech and programming might be interested in do-it-yourself videos. Bury an egg in your garden soil. What happens a few days later will surprise you. Yeah, it'll get rotten or something. So um, let's take a break, and uh, when we come back, we're going to create the account. We're going to see about setting it up, creating playlists and all of that good stuff in the various settings for a good YouTube channel.